Howdy. Welcome back to West Texas. Got this field plowed under and uh, Mr. Bo's out here planting sunflowers. So he's empty. He needs some more seeds. So I'm going to bring the truck out here and let's get him filled back up. And then as soon as I do that, uh, me and Colt are going to run down to the shop, make a couple purchases. As you may have saw in the intro, the load on this trailer was quite a bit. Uh, Mr. Bow had gone down and bought a whole bunch of seeds and fertilizer. So, quite a bit of load on this trailer. That's probably not going to work out. Let's get Mr. Bow filled up here, and then we'll head down to the store. All right, well, Mr. Bo's heading off there with a full tank of seed fertilizer. I do know uh, one of the goals here is to do some organic crops. Just not there yet. Uh, they do pay a premium here for some of the organic crops, but we just uh, don't have the setup yet. So we're still using some regular fertilizer. Maybe doing that for a little bit till we get some compost made up so we can go organic. All right, so we're going to pull this truck off to the edge here out of the way. We're going to get Colt set up in the semi, and then I'm going to jump in my truck, and we're going to run down to the shop and buy a couple things. All right, we're heading down to the shop here. I uh, forgot to mention that we have an issue on the farm. I was out trying to uh, fertilize the cotton field. Go ahead and use the pivot to spray some fertilizer on it before planting, and the pivot died. Uh, the electronic box that controls it, pump, motor, everything has shot. Something happened, uh, some kind of surge or something, and it burned it up. So that pivot is, it only fertilized just a, just a small little section of the field, as you can see here. So anyway, we're going to have to do that manually. But that's what we're running down here to the store to buy. We're going to go ahead and use the semi to grab the... A trailer to haul the cotton to the uh, sale bin. The price is coming up, so hopefully, maybe by tomorrow, we can start selling cotton. And then we're also going to get a a spreader. I need to start putting some lime out on the fields, as well as some fertilizer. So we're going to get a spreader and uh, have that for the farm. I'm hoping that my truck can pull the spreader with it empty. Uh, if not, may have to run back up here. Whoa! So anyhow, we're going to get up here to the shop and uh, get those bought and uh, haul them back to the house. Alright, so we got the cotton trailer here. Uh, it's used. Uh, folks around this parts don't use these very often anymore, So, uh, but we were able to find a used one. So it's going to it's going to work out. Um, hopefully, at some point, we'll go to a different type of baler with the cotton. And then here's so that was uh, four thousand dollars. And then here's the uh, fertilized spreader. Uh, it is a brand from Brazil. They're able to get these down here close to the border. I've never used it before or heard of it. So uh, that was the only one they had in stock. Uh, it is new. They did not have any used spreaders, so this was forty thousand, but it holds thirty thousand liters. It's a pretty impressive capacity. Hopefully, my pickup truck will pull it. So let's get Colt headed back down to the house, and I'm going to get that hooked up. See what happens. Well, the truck's pulling it just fine, empty. Uh, it has all of the weight is on its own wheels, so it's just towing. But that's doing pretty good. I'm going to actually go ahead and try to run down and grab some lime. 
uh, with this truck and see if it can pull it back. If not, may have to uh, disconnect and run up and grab a tractor. But anyhow, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Well, this was a bad idea. Uh, this is a load. Luckily, the weight's not on my truck, but man, just trying to pull it is tough. So, since we're going to put this lime out here in field 17, I, I called to Colt and told him to meet me down here. That way we can just disconnect. I don't have to pull this all the way up to the house. Let's go ahead and get disconnected there. We'll move up out of the way. We'll wait for Colt to get down here. Oh, it looks like him coming there. All right, we'll get Colt hooked up here and I'll let him start putting this lime out. All right, Colt's got the lime going here, so I'm gonna ease back up here to the farm, find out where Mr. Bo is, is with planting and then uh, see what needs to be done next. All right, Mr. Bo just got finished planting the sunflowers over here. So that field is ready to go. Uh, Colt decided to go ahead and till in this field before he put the lime out. So he's working on that right now. He's already got a cotton bale loaded up there on the truck, you can see. Hopefully we'll be able to start selling that tomorrow. Go ahead and just go spray off this planter here real quick. So I've been wondering why Mr. Bo had two planters. Uh, he's got this big planter set up and then he's got the smaller Kinsey planter. Couldn't understand why you would have uh, two different planters but I figured it out uh, this thing is too big to transport down the road because it doesn't fold up you have to disconnect everything and tow it separately which would be a huge pain so he uses the Kinsey planter or has used the Kinsey planter in the past to take down to the field set or not right here so that's what we're going to have to do is uh, go hook up the Kinsey and uh, get it loaded down with seeds and then take it down to field 17 the one that was just limed and uh, get that planted we will need this planter for the field that Colt is working on so I think we'll just leave it over here for now hopefully we'll be planting that in the morning I don't think he's going to get it tilled up before dark today. So we'll just back this up right here and just leave it there. And then we'll go get the Kinsey. You notice we took the tanks off the tractor. Uh, they were stuck out so far and they weren't being used. I suggested to Mr. Bow we take them off. This helped with maneuverability and uh, getting it in and out of the shed so it seems to be working out pretty good let's see we got the trailer here with the stuff on it we'll just pull it along beside and fill her up right here Now we are going to plant corn back down in that field. Kind of limited right now on 
what he can plant since he does not have a grain header for the combine. So he's going to uh, only be able to focus on cotton corn and sunflowers until we can uh, get some different equipment in. All right, just pulled the uh, transport locking pins there, so we'll get this thing unfolded. I'm going to go ahead and plant this field. Mr. Bo's tired. He's been in the tractor all day. He's going to take a little break, and uh, I'm going to run the tractor. Colt's going to hopefully finish that field, get most of it done. And then we'll move into tomorrow. Now this planter does not have fertilized, so it will field will need to be fertilized after this. But now that we have the spreader, that should not be a problem. Well, I'm going to go ahead and knock this field out, and uh, we'll catch back up in the morning. here bright and early head back over to the farm uh, stopped in the shop on my way back over to the motel last night and picked up this sprayer it's not much not very big but it was used uh, cost just a little bit over eight thousand so it'll be very useful for knocking down some of these weeds need to get those out of the crop to help improve the yield Got a lot done last night. Colt finished disc in the field and ended up getting lime on it as well. So Mr. Bo, I believe, is already planting. I think he's going back with cotton. And Colt's running those cotton modules over to sell. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a tractor here and see about getting this sprayer set up where's duke at hey duke hey buddy good morning how you doing yeah you're a good boy all right let's see i think we're going to use the uh, little tractor here should be more than enough i need to get some of this Herbicide pulled out. Let me go ahead and jump in the bobcat here. Those trees Mr. Bo planted over there are sure growing fast. Yeah, the plan is to eventually go organic with the majority of the crops. Uh, as far as food type crops uh, but until we get to that stage 
we're going to have to spray these weeds out. And it'll also be useful to spray crops such as cotton, things like that, that's not going to be eaten. Go ahead and fill this tank up here. I'm not sure if one of these containers will fill it up or not. It will not. So let me go ahead and grab the other one. I imagine I'm probably going to have to go and get some more seeds and fertilizer today as well. If Mr. Bow's already planting, I'm not sure how much is left. I have to go check that out. Well, that's all I have, so we'll go with that. Okay, so we're not going to use that tractor. It's uh, damaging the crop. We'll jump over to this other tractor here. Not sure why that's squishing down to the crop, but I believe this one should be good to go. Although it is very dirty and does need fuel, We'll go ahead and get started here and see what happens. There we go. All right, well, let's spray some weeds. Turn on some light so I can see what I'm doing. Dukes over there barking. Must have saw a squirrel. All right, well, this is a big field. It's going to take a little bit of time. We're going to get, stay at it steady. Try and get this knocked out. Hopefully, Colt can get all of, all of those bells sold. Mr. Bow finish up that planting. May end up having to make a seed run or fertilize. Well, it looks like Mr. Bow needs to be filled up again. So he'll take care of that. Uh, the, I think the truck was out there. They had moved that out there with him, so he should be good to go. I'll continue on with this, and we'll uh, see what happens here today in just a little bit. Well, I'm going to take this last bell down and get it sold. Uh, Mr. Bo has finished planting the cotton in this field. Uh, he actually ended up with two bags of seeds on the trailer and a little bit left in the planter he did run out of fertilizer there toward the end so there's going to be a little bit that we have to touch up with some fertilizer uh, Colt wanted to do some spraying so he's down here 
uh, in this cornfield, uh, getting the weed sprayed. And I'm going to take this down. You can see, made quite a bit of money. This cotton was a pretty good crop. Almost $160,000. Their bells bringing in just a little over 20000 And there you can see Colt getting the corn sprayed. Let me ease on down the road here a bit and we'll check out the uh, cotton sale. Well, I want to pull in the fuel station here real quick. Uh, Colt has run this truck out of fuel and left me with an empty tank. That joker. I want to get a little splash here just to get me back to the house. That should be enough. And we'll ease around here to the location where I'll unload this cotton. Really liking this truck. It's just clean, drives well. A very good purchase. We'll pull through here and unload the cotton right here. There you have it. I hope you're enjoying this series, and if you are, please be sure to leave me a like. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do that today. Uh, if you are a current subscriber, I do appreciate you and thank you for your continued support. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave that in the comment section below. I do appreciate you watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.